Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Indianapolis Indians and the Iowa Cubs. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Cole Stewart, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Into the box, Cole Tucker, and we are set for baseball here this evening. He's set, and the pitch. And he lays off there 1 0. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Now here's the pitch. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Got it, second. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What's the key for them tonight, Dero? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. At the plate, Chris Sharp, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. The 1 1 home. Fouled off. One two and he fouls this one off. He'll try again one two and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count one and two you're probably expecting some sort of off speed pitches but when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Key Brian Hayes digging in now as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Oh. Three and O oh now. Will Craig would be next. Three O pitch is looked at for the first strike. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. The count still full, three and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Rounded back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. 
Nice A.B. right there. A little potential for some two-out lightning getting a cleanup hitter to the dish after the first two batters of the inning were retired. That brings up Will Craig as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. From the stretch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Little slide step action there, Dan. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Stephen Brault, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. And stepping in, Chase Strumpf. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. One zero is laid off for ball two. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup. And this ball's pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. And this one is gone, a home run. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Bring in Miguel Amaya. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Base is empty here with nobody out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left a yard, and the power hitters are coming up. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Standing in now, Patrick Wisdom. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has a tool set like this. Now the 1 0. -oh. 
And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. And it misses three and one now. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting four. A chance now to take a look no at how the home fielder. team lines up in this yeah. one. What's the key for a home Peter win here seven. tonight, Mark? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0. Second inning set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Sammy Ciani. Sammy Ciani. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Stewart has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. This guy does a great job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And one of the keys, he's not predictable. He'll throw his off speed pitches behind an account. He's really difficult to sit on just one pitch. A 1 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. up the middle and in for a base hit. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up that middle of the plate usually the gets deposited in the seats. In now Jiwon Bay. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Bay is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. 
He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Runner at second here with one man out. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got to count in his favor three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Goodwin leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he squares up on this one deep to straightaway right. And this will kick off the base of the wall. Goodwin ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. We're all square at one apiece. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Into the box now, John Ryan Murphy. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. The 0 1 pitch. Drilled to the right side, and that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Play at the plate, and he's out! A great throw. Oh, now that play fires me up right there. Just an absolute dime of a throw from the outfield. It doesn't get any better than that. You know what? Hats off to the catcher right there. Great job at the dish to handle the throw and get the tag down on him. And they pretty much had to be perfect to cut him down right there. Stepping in now, Stephen Brault, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Here's the 1 0. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Last half of the second set to go. And standing in the outfielder, Michael Hermosillo. Michael Hermosillo. First offering on its way. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, one and all. Here's a pop up now. And there's out number one. Batting six. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. To the plate now, Jared Young. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Opposite field to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Batting seven. 
the shortstop, Sergio Alcantara. Now at the plate, here is Sergio Alcantara. First pitch on the way. The 1 0. Grounded to short. Reined in. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Cole Tucker. First delivery to him. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Alcantara backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box, Chris Sharp. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Now here it comes. High and deep down the left field line. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Next, it'll be Key Brian Hayes. He singled in his first AB. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now the one oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. The two one. This is on the ground over to first and that is through into right field for a single. The pitcher got the result he was looking for change up down in the zone gets him to hit it on the ground but obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Blake now will Craig as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one fly down in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now a throw over and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Hayes leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. One and one. Now 
has a look now the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three. of the third now and next it'll be the outfielder Ian Miller the center fielder first delivery to him as he sends it on the ground to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out batting nut the pitcher Cole Stewart next to hit will be the pitcher Cole Stewart First offering. And a ball one and oh. One out, nobody on. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. So now to the plate, Chase Strumpf. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 1 0. -oh. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. That's in there on the outer half one and two now. Hey I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that that's off the end of the bat that's not hard contact at all and that's an easy out for the defense. Misses ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Siani is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Striding in is Sammy Siani, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Lays off 1-0. now 
And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Found a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Now pitch on the way and this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters and as you see there just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far ninety six on one hand ninety five on the other. Digging in next Brian Goodwin singled in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Solo shot to right center. As they take the lead, it's two to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Into the box now, Jiwon Bay. As he runs up to bunt but can't make contact at strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Oh one, here's the pitch. Offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And the throw will get him at first as he is robbed on a magnificent play there. That ball almost got through the hole right there. Could have been a seeing eye single. Love to step in a dive to his left. That's actually a harder play. It's almost easier to go backhand when you're reacting at third base. Nice play right there. Nice angle to the baseball. In now, John Ryan Murphy. And he popped him up. Young in foul ground. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Indianapolis leads it two to one. Now it'll be Miguel Amaya. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Hayes shading to his right. One away. Now batting. Number 59. So next to bat will be Patrick Wisdom. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Two and oh pitch on the way. Jock Peterson waits on deck. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Line towards center field. That's his first base hit. Make him one for two now. 3 1 fastball middle cut and he didn't miss it. That's the fight throughout the course of the game to get yourself into count leverage and capitalize. So next to bat will be the left handed hitting Jock Peterson as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. So look now the pitch. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. Wisdom a runner at first with one gone in the inning. In the dirt it's 3 and 0 oh now. a look now the pitch and that's finally over for a strike the three one jock swings and sends a ball to deep right racing back the right fielder and it's gone. Jock Peterson with a two run blast as they have taken the lead it's now three to two. When this one left the bat I thought it was going to be an easy out to right but it just kept carrying and carrying and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back but no dice. Standing in now Michael Hermosillo as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner it's 0 and 1 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. On the ground to third. And that's the second out. The first baseman, number 19, Jared Young. 
Next up, Jared Young hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Two out, nobody on. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We're through four. It's now a 3-2 ball game. And now here is Stephen Brault. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Stephen Brault. First pitch of the AB on its way. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. The 1 1. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The bat, number three, shortstop. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Cole Tucker. Here's the first pitch. Dribbled to the right side. That rolls foul for strike one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there are two away now. Next to hit is Chris Sharp. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one two three and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Yeah. 
Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Into right field, that's a base hit. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, three inning, but not the case given up that late two out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. To the plate now, Key Brian Hayes. One ball, no strikes the count. One oh home. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. One two sent on the ground out to second scooped up he'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning so it's no runs on a hit no errors and a man left last half of the fifth coming up Iowa leads it three to two. Now at the plate Sergio Alcantara he'll lead things off here in this one run contest. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting, center fielder, Ian Miller. Up next, Ian Miller comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Made him look silly with that one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. One out, nobody on. Hit in the air down the right field line. Siani is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. The pitcher, number 37, Cole Stoop. Cameron Mabin will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. And now the first pitch. Wind up. Here comes the 1 0. -oh. 
outside three and oh now. Well he knows it but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat so it's time to challenge him right here. And he lays off ball four so he comes right off the bench and works the walk usually easier said than done. Now batting second baseman. So the lineup flips over and digging in Chase Strumpf flew out last time up. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. The 1 0. Three and 0 now. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Here it comes on 3 and 0. Three two two out runner on first lots of possible outcomes on this pitch throw over to the bag and he's back standing and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Next to hit Miguel Amaya and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Mabin on second Strumpf at first two out in the inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. No trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Brad Wick takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 38. Leading off the inning, it'll be Will Craig as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. First pitch coming, here it is. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now. It's funny that pitch I can picture being in the box that pitch looks so good to hit and why does no one ever get to it a good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Here's another 0 2. Struck him out. 
pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah that pitch was right on the black beautiful pitch and even if we had robot umps he'd still be out but the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box Sammy Siani as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. In there and he's ahead 0 2 now and now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. to home. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And there's out number two. Now batting. The center fielder. Brian Goodwin. And now in the box, Brian Goodwin. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Yeah, Matt, that last AB was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist high to belt high changeups. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Boy he just threw that fastball by him. His heaters got some late ride through the zone a lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Jiwon Bay would be next. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now back second base. Jiwon Bay. Now to the plate, Jiwon Bay. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Ball one to start the at bat. Two out with the man at first. And a strike to even the count. One and one. From the stretch. On ah, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. 
Lays off two and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and he pops him up. Coming in is Peterson. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Oh, got him looking at the two seamer, and that'll end it. Chase DeYoung enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Late now is Patrick Wisdom. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Number 59. And the pitch. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Boy, so frustrating now as a back. pitcher. You make a Let's quality see. pitch on the inside yeah. half of the plate right there. Try to bust he him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Jock Peterson will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch on its way. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now that the right fielder. Michael. Next to stand in Hermosillo. is Michael Hermosillo, grounded out in his last at bat. From the stretch. No balls and a strike to count. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. The first baseman, number 19. So now into the box is Jared Young. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Ready with the 0 and 1. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The 2 2 pitch.
Wisdom stands at second with two gone. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw cleanly into first and that ends the inning. One hit one left. Seventh inning coming up. The I Cubs are out in front three to two. Jason Adam is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So stepping in is John Ryan Murphy for his career in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First delivery to him. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. Fouled away. Now the 0 2 pitch. Got him. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run now game, that. especially <laughs> this late, getting that Jeez. first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Joe Your Hudson please. will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 70. Now here it comes as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. He's set here's the 0 1. Liner towards second. And quickly there are two away. Oh man you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though and then make the out at first. Cole Tucker digging in at the plate. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. You know because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now the 2 0 to short hit hard. He's right there. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Tyler Bachelor will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. So now here is Sergio Alcantara. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ball game. Sergio Alcantara. He's set. Here it comes. Low of the fastball here in the dirt. Even it's ball one. That evens it up one and one. Here it comes. <laughs> Fouled off.
Ladd misses and we're even at two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Here now the 2 2. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The next three two. Swing and a flare down the line. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. At the plate now, Ian Miller. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets, but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me, velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. Two well count. The pitch is taken. Strike one. Now the 2 1 is a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. That's a close pitch right there, but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much. Out of the pen sometimes, you just have to come in and go right after guys. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you no give pitcher. up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Austin Romine will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. From the stretch. Alcantara at second, Miller at first with no outs. Here's one that misses high, it's one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1. the ground is short could this be two there's one on to first and here indeed is a super double play 
coming on as a pinch hitter is a tough spot to be in, but that's the last thing you want to do when your skipper calls on you. Not going to be happy about that. At the plate, Chase Strumpf, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's one for two in this one. The 0 1 offering. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Trying to do way too much up there, from what I can tell. He knows that's a big run standing there at third, but. That swing was way out of control. You still have to stay within yourself and look for your pitch. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Eighth inning coming up. Iowa leads it 3-2. to two. Rowan Wick has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. Now to bat, Chris Sharp. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus. Stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Ground ball right side. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. So the next to bat will be Key Brian Hayes. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the A.B. now. <laughs> Lifted into the air to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. But he won't get there. It falls in. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Into the box now. Will Craig. Strike one to start the at bat. Outside for a ball, one and one. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. To one and two now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. 
And now Sammy Siani he's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Oh one here's the pitch ball one. The one one. Is a fastball that misses. Now the 2 1. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Peterson is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Kyle Keller is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now into the box, Miguel Amaya. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Miguel. First pitch on its way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. One one home. At the knees for a called strike and it's back to even at two and two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping in now, Patrick Wisdom, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. One oh finds the zone strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Here's the 2 1 home. To 2 and 2 now. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. 
Boy, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Rowe. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Here's Jock Peterson now as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 1 0. -oh. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Wisdom, base runner at first with one out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Those are just two great takes right there. Those are pretty good pitches. Sliders down the way, both of them, just off the plate. Couldn't get the batter to fish. The 3-0 pitch is swung on and missed in that strike one. And there he goes towards second. Full count now. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Michael Hermosillo, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that one misses upstairs 2 and 0. Two out with the man at first. Strike called 2 and 1. On the stretch. Still even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch, and a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Pedro Stroke comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Stepping up is Brian Goodwin. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Set and the pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Smoke toward the hole. Oh, what a play! It's there. He got him. Next, it'll be Jiwon Bay. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. One run game here in the top of the ninth.
and he takes this one high one and one. Here's the pitch looking to drop one down but he can't make contact one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter okay. darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well and that one was right there. Standing in now John Ryan Murphy. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And if you start wondering about what's left on the bench, there's a look at what they have to choose from. Anthony Alford will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. First pitch on the way as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. And he won't go after the cut fastball. Two and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Here now the 2 2. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. Hermosillo is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Iowa Cubs took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Cole Stewart gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Indianapolis, two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left seven men.